Hi guys, so welcome to a, hopefully a quick little video where I want to discuss the importance of this, your fucking mindset, and just a pre-workout kind of setup in regards to what I do before I actually walk into that fucking gym. Because like I said, it is so important. The psychological aspects of you going into that gym is so important. Like I said, you can't be going in there thinking about your fucking missus. You can't be going in there thinking about work. You can't be doing all these kind of, you can't have all these stresses in your head and expect to have an excellent session. It's just not going to happen. So I want to go through what I I kind of do and if I can help you guys in regards to implementing that into your own fucking sort of like lifestyle your own kind of pre-workout setup then brilliant in, in regards to what I do so I sit in my car for about five to ten minutes I play a little bit of music you know me I do a little bit of fucking this a little bit of that you know I boogie around it get that fucking energy levels up and I sit here and I look through this this is my logbook so as you guys know if you follow me for a long while now I'm a big fan of getting a, as much data as possible from my training that will help you with progression that will simply help you with progression because you can assess what's going well what isn't going well you can make adjustments when needed all that kind of good bollocks which I've explained numerous amounts of times in my video so I sit here and I look through my logbook and I think to myself right what the fuck did I do last week you small little cunt I look and I think right Flat dumbbell, flat barbell press, eight, 90 kilos for 8 reps I got last week. That is fucking poor. This week, I'm going to get 90 kilos for 10 reps. Or I'm going to increase the load and get 95 for 8 reps. That kind of, uh, that's my attitude going into this. I think, right, what the fuck am I going to do? What the fuck is this? Sort it out, George. You're small. You're tiny. You need to sort it out. You need to get fucking bigger. And people ask me, George, do you just punch yourself in the face for the cameras? No. I'm not here to impress you guys. I'll be honest with you. I started YouTube just to document my own kind of journey. Uh, and I can look back on it. I'm not here to impress any of you guys as bad as, as horrible as that sounds. It's honest I'm being brutally honest with you. You know me. I'm honest with everything I do in regards to relationships and all that kind of bollocks I'm brutally honest. I'm not here to impress you. I don't give a shit I punch myself in the face all the time. I tell myself if my attitude is stinking I'm going to the session feeling ah oh, fuck this. I'll go Sort it out, Georgie little cunt. Sort it fucking out. You know what I mean? I'll have a go at myself. I'll have a go at myself and I'll sit here and close my eyes and think about all the bollocks of my life. The girlfriend, the missus, don't get me wrong, I love you to bits. I know you're probably watching this. I absolutely love you. But you, get out. Stress. Coaching, stuff like that. Stress is at home. Mum and dad having a go at me for not doing cleaning the fucking dishes or whatever. See that? Fuck off. Get out of here. Dishes can do some other time, you know what I mean? Fuck that shit, I ain't interested in that. I can't, I can't stress the importance of just fucking sorting this out and focus at the task at hand. Don't be walking into that gym, fucking sitting here texting all your fucking missus, texting your mate, or you're sitting there talking to your mates, oh, did you have a good weekend, mate? Did you bang that bird? Fuck that, do that afterwards. Don't go to the gym and just sit there and chat or sit there on your phone. Don't get me wrong, if you're sitting on your phone changing music, stuff like that, that's fine. I haven't got notions of that, but you're sitting there texting your missus going, I can't wait to fucking see you later. I'm going to buy you some roses, I'm going to buy you chocolates, I'm gonna buy you dinner. Fuck all that shit. Fuck that. Like you ain't here for doing that shit. You know what I mean? So that is really, really important. You need to focus right. What is it that I want to achieve in this session? What is it that I am trying to improve? Like for me, I'm in the going in for a push session right now. My chest, my fucking delts, everything in that department, anything in this region is fucking tiny. Look, my chest is fucking, you can't even see it right now. Tiny. Sort it out. I need to get fucking big. That's kind of what I do. I keep saying, you know what I mean lately, and it's pissing me off. I can't stress the importance of this. Going into your session with a structure please do not walk into that gym and go oh you know what i'll just go on that because that's free and then i'll do that because that seems just to be irrelevant and then i'll go over there and i'll just do that because it's free and then oh my mate's there so i'll just do that next to him fuck that that is not programming that's just fucking stupid you probably wonder why you're fucking still small go in with a set structure right exercise one is this exercise two is this exercise three is this exercise four and so forth you know what i mean you need to go in with a plan plan of action you need to execute that you need to finish your sessions going right did I do everything possible within that session to improve my physique? Because it's all good you putting in that work outside of the gym, like you're eating your meals and stuff like that. But if you're not progressing in the gym, it's fucking pointless. Absolutely pointless. 24 hours a day, seven days a week bodybuilding is. So if you're putting in the food and all that kind of, I'm resting, I'm getting eight hours sleep, I'm getting six meals in a day, I'm eating a surplus, taking my body weight up. But if you're not progressing in the gym, it's fucking pointless. So go in there with the mindset, of, right, I'm going to finish that session, leaving everything in the fucking tank. I'm coming out of that session thinking, right, I'm fucking killed it i've killed it obviously it's not always going to happen you're going to have ups and downs but 90 percent of the time wherever those ups and downs are, 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 are really like crucial in your life and it's really like devastated you and you think oh, i actually can't perform any exercises today i want you to finish that fucking session and go right i fucking killed it i fucking killed it and this this is a nine out of ten each session is going to be a 9 out of 10. I cannot stress the importance of it. Get your fucking nuts in that motherfucking game. Sit here. Think about all the bollocks. You think about, oh, that cunt in the gym that used to laugh at me for being small. 
Watch this, mate. I'm gonna fucking outdo you today, you little prick. You know what I mean? That's why I'm kind of, I just get angry. Just get angry. Really get angry. And I really like, fucking yes, this is me. What a lot of people struggle with is they worry about what others are doing in the gym. Like you see someone doing 100 kilos on a bench press for a set of 12 or something like that, and you're still on 60 kilos for a set of 12. Who fucking cares? At the end of the day, no one fucking cares. I'll be brutally honest with you. No one cares how much you lift. No one cares whether you're fat. No one cares if you're small. No one cares if you're skinny. No one cares if you're built like a brick house. No one gives a shit. Stay in your own fucking lane. Focus on yourself. Don't look around the gym and think, oh, he's doing that. I wish I can do that. Don't do that. Focus on your own fucking goals. Your own fucking, uh, I don't know, own session. You know what I mean? Just, you need to stop saying, you know what I mean, George, you fucking dickhead. But yeah, this is kind of what I do, guys. It's very straightforward. I sit here and I think, execution, execution, execute the plan. I have a plan. I have a plan in my logbook. I've got a plan in my head. I have a plan of how the session's going to go. Execute it. Execute what's going on in here. Don't be thinking about, right, missus, girlfriend. Oh, I love her so much. Boyfriend. Uh, 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 love him, love him. I'll come out and suck his dick. Uh, fuck all that. Fuck all that. Get out of here. Fuck off. Fuck off, fuck you, fuck you, and focus on yourself. This is two hours of your day where you can forget about all the bollocks in your life. All the fucking bollocks. Every single bit. And focus on your own motherfucking goals. And don't give a fuck about any other wanker. This is my pre-workout setup. I sit here, I've drunk my pre-workout, so obviously you know I'm a little bit, come on, George, let's fucking do this. I'm a little bit buzzing, but I'm ready to get the session going. Little, I'll listen to a little bit of music, and I'm going to go in that gym, and I'm going to fuck some shit up. And I'll leave, I might leave a comment down below saying, yeah, fuck shit up today yes i did everything it takes and i'm gonna go home and i'm gonna relax i'm gonna let my body relax i'm gonna get my post-workout in i'm gonna feel good so please if you're watching this watch this pre-workout hopefully it's giving you a bit of motivation to fucking sort it out fuck your mates fuck your missus fuck your parents fuck work fuck this fuck that and focus on yourself please focus on yourself so many people put others before them but in these situations you need to put yourself first sorry mate i do not want to speak to you today about fucking the weekend i'll talk to you afterwards because i'm actually trying to fucking train him mate i'm actually trying to hit a pb and you're sitting here trying to chat to me about girls and shit we do that afterwards don't get me wrong i love girls and stuff like that but we'll talk about it afterwards you know what i mean fucking sick of it but yeah too many wankers sit there in the gym fucking pissing about just pissing about and they look the fucking same all the time they look the same don't be that cunt don't be that dickhead that sits there talks to their mates about shit because at the end of the day if i see you doing that i'll fucking dislike you um and please if you're watching this and you know me you see me in the gym don't speak to me mid-session about how my life's going not fucking interested talk to me afterwards text me i'll go for a drink with you but when I'm in my sessions, this is me. This is me. So hopefully this is eight and a half minutes of your life that you've gained a little bit of motivation from. Watch this pre-workout if you ever need a little bit of motivation, a little bit of kick up the arse. And as usual, my fucking nut is in that game. I'm going in to kill it. I'm going in to kill it. The hardest working person. IB pro, natural pros, powerlifters, someone that can bench press 140 kilos for reps. I don't give a fuck who you are. I'm George Edward Osborne, the whitest white boy there is out there. Well, the whitest white boy name out there is what I should have said. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this. I will try and probably edit a little bit of this out because no, no one wants to watch me for nine minutes talking about fucking and swearing my head off. You know what I mean? Like, I've probably got about 10 dislikes, but it's all good. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little bit of motivation. If you have, can you please like the video? Really does help me out. Subscribe if you're new around here. And if you're new to this channel and think, what the fuck is this wanker going on about? Watch my other videos. You might understand. It might help you out a little bit. So push session about to go down um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know when it'll be, I'm not going to lie, but um, uh, it'll be very soon. See you in a bit, guys.